and welcome back. We are here with Joylin for her for their Pokemon White Two Manipulus run. Hello, Joylin. Hello, um, my name is Joylin. I'll be, I'll be doing White Two Manipulus today. Um, it's a little bit different from any percent because your Pokemon stats are random rather than RNG Manip to be a certain value. Um, today I'll be setting the date to July first. Uh, because that's the date where there's no water in Castellia sewers, and there's no rain or hail in any of the roads that I'll be progressing through in the story. Um, and do I get just started now? Uh, yeah, let me know when you want to get started. Sure. I'm going to soft reset as I go into um, the game, and that's when you start the timer. Okay. Just cue off to me. Okay. Hey, if you, yeah, feel free to go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, do, I'll do a countdown. I'll be okay. soft resetting in three, two, one. Oh. Uh... oh did something happened with the application? Yep. <laughs> okay. Let me restart the application real quick. Yes. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll do a restart. Please hold. Again. Sorry about yeah. that. I don't know what's wrong with my oh. Oh. capture for, for a second. We had it. We got it. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Magical. I don't know what I did. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to Sorry restart? Yeah, I will restart. Okay. Once again, let me know when to restart, when to start the timer. Mm -hmm. Is it working? Uh... We have black. Nope. I don't know what I did. Okay. Is it working now? I guess it's working now. Okay. I'll be doing a counter. All right. I'll be software setting three, two. Because this is um, manipulous, there are chances that um, this Rinse and Oath could be uh, shiny on start. <laughs> well, that's a very low chance, so it'll happen. Okay. Okay. I usually give it a one character name, like I do here with the rival name, but. Um, we're doing an event. I named her TSRM. Thank you. 
now we're gonna do go into options and then set the text speed and battle effects off. What's interesting is, um, I think, I believe this Aspertia city is the only city with the, um, only beginning town where you get a Poke Pokemon Center. Other games don't really have a Pokemon Center in their starting town. We're going to be starting off with Tepig. Now there's a... about a... Um, 33% chance that I would have to reset? Let's hope that's not the case. <laughs> There's a um, attack um, threshold for stats, stat-wise. So I hope that's not the case. Uh, it has to go from 12 at level 5 to 13 at level 6. Also, unlike the uh, new generation games, the crits here are 1 in a 16 chance, which is on a higher chance, and also does twice the damage, so it's very lethal. If you get crit, it's actually you could actually lose the rival fight here. Everyone loves Gen 5 music. <laughs> For me personally, I really like the um, gym leader's last Pokemon fight. I think it's very well done in Gen 5. Now I can start running here.
Okay, now Bianca's gonna show me how to catch a Pokemon. It's kind of awkward um, calling her Bianca for me, because usually I stream in Korean, and her Korean name is Belle, so it's a little bit awkward. <laughs> Oftentimes, NPC names and Pokemon names are slightly different, whether it's Korean or English. That's actually really interesting because I have a friend who is German and he often plays the German versions of the games and mm -hmm. like tells us about the different Pokemon names that are very different from their English counterparts. Mm -hmm. And Parfish is literally Green Onion Duck? <laughs> okay, yeah. I did not know it's, that. It's called Green Onion Duck in Korean. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe I have to pick up a copy of the... Uh, Korean black and white, just to <laughs> just to play it. <laughs> Actually, some German Pokemon names are exactly the same in Korean. Really? Yeah, like Urshifu is called Ulaosu in German. Also Ulaosu in Korean. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, today I learned that some languages just don't change the names. Mm -hmm. No, I had to catch a. I had to um, get EXP from a wild Pokemon here, so I can get to level 13 right before Sharon. Unlike the um, previous run, I don't have the option to talk to trainers diagonally because diagonals weren't introduced in the game until Pokemon X and Y. So I have to talk to them by walking up to them. Now if I get a wild encounter here, there's a 25% chance that I'll run into a Piddle. If I get Piddle, but I'll be catching it for um, it's gonna be my flyer. My HP is a little bit dangerous for um, the second rival fight. If I get a crit, I may run into a problem. Hopefully not. I'm actually surprised that crit didn't kill Oshawott, probably because um, I'm running at a very low attack, like at the bare minimum attack. Usually the crit would kill, so 
So it's usually a twin KO. And I'll be healing here because I'm at yellow HP. And I, I want to be at a decent HP before the um, kid with Pensage. I also need to catch a Surfer here, which is on a 30% chance combined. It's either a Zuril, which is a 20% chance encounter, or a Psyduck, a 10% encounter. The spinner is a little bit weird because you run past him instead of like doing the um, Gen 5 mechanic for passing. Which I'll be showing in the um, in just a little bit after the gym. Of course, <laughs> catching Pokemon at red HP, not always guaranteed. I think they um they up the catch rate from Gen Four, but catch rate changes again in Gen Six to be a little bit more favorable. There's also a 5% chance that I'll meet a Pido here as well, which means I don't have to catch a Zubat later. back to Alder. I'm gonna be picking up a X speed just to the left of the house. The thing about Gen 5 is the battle items come so late in white 2 compared to like any other games. All the other most of the games you get access to battle items within three gyms. For this, you have to beat about six gyms before you can get any access to battle items. So it's crucial you use Pokemons that can um, with 
move stat increases your uh, main attack stat, like work up or uh, bone claw, sword stance, etc. This one doesn't use any water moves, so it's kind of safe, but at the same time, there's a chance that I'll be paralyzed with Lick. And so far, both Licks have par successfully paralyzed, which is on a 9% chance. I hope that doesn't happen with Static later today. <laughs> I'll be I'll be going against about eight statics. Yesterday I had propped six of them. So static must be 75% chance, right guys? Now I'm going to be closer to the cliff, so Alder doesn't have to walk all the way over to me. I'm gonna talk to this kid for an next defend. And off to the gym. Now here, most of the Pokémon are 3 hit KOs and they can use an attacking move or Leer. We'll see what happens. Since I killed a wall Pokémon on my way, I should get to level 13 by the end of 2nd Trainer. I think I might have to heal before the second trainer. I've lost a lot of HP. Thank you. 
I'm gonna teach defense curl. It's gonna be crucial against um, Sharon. One, um, when it comes to raising your stat, one rank is the most efficient in terms of mitigating damage or increasing your damage. Oops. I'm gonna give it Orenberry. Use my last one. And then save here, because I've gotten crit by Cheren too many times in my in, in past. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. Now everyone's favorite music, right? Did I say about crit again? <laughs> I'm used to it. It's okay. As long as I don't get crit on Lillipop, I'm fine. At least I didn't get crit when he's like plus three attack. Right guys? This is why crits are so dangerous in this game. Sadly, Tepic can't learn uh, workup, so we're gonna run without workup for now. And now we're gonna go into a short phone call with Juniper. Now we're gonna stock up on some items. Because we defeated the gym, we should have access to repel. Super potion. And because we're fighting the poison gym, I'm gonna get some antidotes.
And there's a double battle right before Burbank. So I'm going to be depositing my Azuro. Now Bianca's gonna catch up to me and try to explain about shaking um, Pokemon and shaking grass. Or habitat. And then my repel's gonna be. They're gonna ask me to replenish repel in about four steps from here. This feature is added in white too. It wasn't there in um, black and white, but they added the feature to replenish your repel, which is really nice. So because you don't have to go into your bag every time you want to replenish your repel. I stick to the left, I don't um that kid can't see me. So I can pass him. And then there's gonna be a spinner right to the right of us. You can see a little bit of outline right here. That's how you pass Gen 5 spinners. And then she's gonna give me Great Balls. It's going fine at the moment. I've gotten crit twice on Cherith, but I made it out alive <laughs> without dying. Thank god. My heart dropped when Lilipop crit me, and I lived with 1 HP. Problem with crits in this game is it's not 150%, it's 200% damage. So the damage is lethal, regardless of what Pokemon it comes from. I'm actually going to save before the first trainer because um, I'm in Blaze right now and I want to keep Blaze but I feel like I might get crit with rollout. <laughs> okay. I didn't think my speed was that great so I might be outsped by Venipi. Benipede is at 20 speed, exactly. Oh, oops. I meant to use Ember. But okay. I'm going to heal here. That burn is really nice. That crit is not nice.
This should down it? Okay. That burn was very nice. If it wasn't for the burn, I would have died. From the crit. uses disable on the tail whip not on flame charge hopefully um, hopefully no disable right here or I can crit yeah it's about time I crit it instead of getting critted <laughs> very nice I'm gonna cure the first poison gas because I have a Petcha Berry. I'm gonna play safe. Then the shop is going to be a very um, big trouble if I get crit. Usually coughing can't kill me, but then the shop can. Venoshock should do about 18 damage? 15. My special defense isn't that bad, I think. I should outspeed it at this point. Okay. It's good to be on the low end of HP because I'll be in Blaze against um, Team Plasma because Team Plasma Pokemon are... Um, you're on a roll unless you're in Blaze. So I should be doing fine until... Um, until Drill Burst. Great starter until you get Drill Bird. <laughs> then you don't need um you don't need Ambor anymore. It's it's great for um black and white, at least. Now off to um, Focus Studio. My least favorite part of the game. <laughs> it was interesting the first time, but after like the uh, 200th time, uh, this gets a little bit boring. <laughs> I think the main problem with things like this is uh, it's great to have some other content 
But if you're getting dragged into it, every storyline... Like, there should be an option of not getting dragged into this. Like, it should ask you, would you like a tour? And if you pick yes, you get the tour. And if you don't pick yes, you can postpone it until later. They made it, like, uh, mandatory. It used to be optional. Things like this used to be optional. Like, um... Back in Gen 3, like, the secret base was optional. You could just pass the guy, and he didn't explain it. But in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, the guy stops you, and it's mandatory. See how boring this movie is? Everyone's falling asleep. Such a bad movie. Tepig was your first starter Pokemon? That's interesting. Tepig is really nice. In general. Uh, but I think it was better when it learned the arm thrust. When you evolved it in um, black and white, you don't learn it in um, white. Pokemon white two, black to white two. And now we get to uh, we're dragged into the movie now, and we're gonna ruin it so we can get out of it faster. Now, if you ruin the um, movie, they kick you out. So, we're ruining the movie so we can get kicked off faster instead of going through the entire scenario. So, I'm gonna use Ice Punch and get one shot by Ponyard. And now it's going to prompt me to save. Now if you haven't saved until the, until this point, this save is actually not a save. Like you don't actually save here. Like it looks like you're saving, but if you haven't saved until now. So if you have no save file, this save does not save. So if you have, have no saves up until this point, and then you reset after the saving, you won't be, you'll be starting all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> 
It's a fake save. Now off to the port where we're gonna meet um, Team Plasma. If we are in Blaze, this is a 100% kill. Uh, the pep rat here has detect, so it could drag on the fight. If I don't, uh, if it keeps on using detect, hopefully not. I am in blaze, so this is hundred percent. Now they're gonna run away, and I have to go find them. And I have to pass the spinner again. Now this HM, I'm not gonna use it for the entire game. So I don't have to worry about it. This is also 100% when in blaze. There we go. Now off to Castellia City. We're gonna be catching Drillbur in just one moment. Hopefully we get a decent Drillbur. Very important. So unlike in black and white, in black 2 and white 2, they give you the bicycle here instead of having to go all the way to Nimbusa City, which is really good. 
Echi with the raid. Thank you. <laughs> raid yesterday and raid today too. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't make the same mistakes I made yesterday or have the bad luck. All right, I'm gonna get talk to the janitor here. So I can get the rare candy later and the charcoal. Unlike Mystic Water or Miracle Seed, charcoal sells for a pretty good sum of money. And I'm gonna talk to the clown here, which is the second requirement of getting the rare candy. Yeah, but we're not going to be seeing the Volt Switch with Drillbur. It's not the Volt Switch that's the problem, it's the static. some items here. The money's gonna be exactly right. So buy nest balls. Sell the charcoal. Get 14 repels and one escape rope. Perfect. I think I went one, one, one above, one too far, one slot too far. going to equip the EXP share right now. So what this EXP share does is usually if you're holding EXP share and you're not in battle, you gain EXP as if you participate in the battle. But with the EXP, when you do double battle with an NPC, you take the EXP that the NPC would have taken otherwise. So the EXP that Hughes Pokemon would have taken you're gaining more EXP because you're leeching off the EXP that you will be getting. So if I were to go in this fight without using EXP share, I wouldn't be hitting nine, level 19 at the end of it. But because I used EXP share, I'll be getting to level 19 at the end of this. And doing the double battle automatically heals me to full. So I don't have to I didn't have to heal at the center.
I'm gonna stay here because I am known to get bad Brobers. And minus attack nature will not do. Minus speed nature is iffy but doable. Minus attack nature is completely no go. Now Drillbirds appear in the dust clouds that appear in here. Problem is, you could also get Onyx or items. Like this. <laughs> mm. Mm, like this. Come on, yellow. It's well, too bad it's blue again. Really? Really? <laughs> Five shards in a row? Ugh. Any, any bets for the sixth shard? Any bets? If I can get a Dust Claw to spawn at this point, it'll be very nice. If I really can get a Dust Claw to spawn at this point, Well, there's no 6 shard anymore. There we go. <laughs> and I would critical hit it! <laughs> this is why I saved, okay guys? This is why I saved. No way. <laughs> Everyday life, guys. It's okay. We won't see five shards this time. I can, I can, I can feel it. Well, there's the first shard. Three shards? We'll see. Well, there's the second one. It sucks because this RNG can really be a problem, even if you have a PB up to this point. Okay. Lower level, but it's female, which is nice. And now I'm gonna throw a nest ball, which is pretty good at catching. Alright, as long as it's not minus attack nature, we're good. That's not too bad. I'm gonna do it the really quick calculation. Sandbrush.
Oh, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have um, used repel again. But it's okay. I have to catch a Zubat here. So I'll be running to get rid of this repel. Zubat is a 45% encounter rate. Appears pretty well. I'm a little bit worried that it's a hasty nature. A lot of the Pokemon that are very dangerous to me are all physical attackers. So I hope it's not the worst. <laughs> and I got a long password. So the password that you'll be entering in the Plasma ship later on is based on your trainer ID and I got the longest password which is Reshiram now to use this cape rope, rope. <clears throat> just outspeed them with the well I would have to get hit at some point And off to the gym. We're going to lose some time because this is a level 16 Drillbird. Because I have to fight an extra trainer. So I need to, uh, until Dro Drober is uh, raised enough to take hits. I need to be using Pig Knight. And also, going against Grass Pokemon isn't that ideal as a Drillbird. Razor Leaf is very dangerous against um, as a Drillbird because Razor Leaf also has a critical strike chance bonus. It's one Razor Leaf can be the end of Drillbird. Have to switch out, but we also need the EXP. 
Especially because it's a level 16 Clover. Very weak. So now we have to fight the extra trainer right here, instead of skipping it. And the tab. Hopefully no miss. Hopefully no miss. Okay, that's good. I'm going to be healing them both. Then save here. Usually, um, I have to be in Blaze for the Liavani, which means if I get crit, it's almost likely that I would die. So I'm going to save here, just in case. It's quite unlikely that I would die to Bird, but just in case to be safe. Finish level. It's gonna use faint attack, but I should be. It should kill it with dig. There we go. I'm going to sacrifice Zubat here. Then switch to Pig Knight. Hut shouldn't kill me at this point. And I should be in Blaze, just perfect for Flame Charge. There we go.
And now I need to talk to the third clown to get my... to be eligible for the rare candy. Gym themes are really top-notch music in this game. I'm gonna play a little bit safe and get a um, couple fresh water here. I'm only gonna get two. Now Bianca's gonna show up and give me an item finder. If I stay down, the trainer can't see me. And I'm gonna heal my Drillbur. And then repel. Because I have Sand Rush, I'm gonna save. If it's Sand Force, I don't need to be worried. But I have a 70% range on Clink right now. So I wanna be I wanna play it safe. Magnemite here has sturdy, so I can't one-shot it with dig. Um, so I'm gonna use mud slap. Then use dig. Hopefully one shot. Or not. Or I can just avoid gear grind. That works. <laughs> okay. I should have I should have mud slapped there. There we go. I mean, if you miss it's okay. And because I had a level 16 Drillbur, I'm gonna have to fight this lady right here. I have Sand Rush, so I should outspeed it. Thank you. 
I have to teach home class. And I came here, so I can get my soft sand from this guy right here. And I'll go around so I don't get caught up by the Poké Ranger right there. Soft sand is a god item. Very nice. On this one, there's a trainer. I am actually exactly the same speed with Blitzel. So we'll see who outspeeds. It's a 50-50. Which means Blitzel is gonna outspeed me, right? Because it's 50-50. We're exactly at 41 speed. Wow. I actually outspent Little. This is a surprise. And the next one is gonna be Flappy, which I outspeed for sure. And this is going to be my first static of the day. We'll see how many statics we proc, okay? <laughs> first static of the day. Oh, zero out of one.
Now we're not gonna be hit to the gym yet. We're gonna go to the Pokemon Center and then get buy some items and heal. We definitely need more paralyzed heals. Awakening for the Team Plasma fight later. Some Hyper Potion. Actually gonna buy two. Get one revive. That's it. And then I'm gonna get red shards from this guy. So that I can learn Iron Head later on. And this is where I'm gonna heal. So... Until Gen 7, you could be healing from the Pokemon Center without talking to the lady. Gen 8, you cannot do this anymore. But Gen 7, but just by putting Pokemon in your PC, you could heal. Alright, time to test out my static luck of the day. Alekka doesn't have any moves that can hit Drillbur, so it's probably gonna use Light Screen or Switch Out. Zero out of two. All right. Zero out of three. Wow. Maybe I maybe I burned all my bad luck for this day. Yesterday. It's about time I got this! One out of four? I have to cure static every single time because it's a two-turn move and risking paralysis with big isn't a very good idea. I'm going to heal here, in case I get crit from Blitzel. It's okay, it's only 1 out of 4. Only 4 more to go. <laughs> I have 4 chances at static left. I knew I was gonna get crit. See guys, I saw into the future. That's why I heal. Alright, 2 out of 5. It's okay, as long as Alyssa doesn't proc static, I'm fine. Alright, time to learn Slash. So I have something to hit the MOBA with.
I don't think I'll be able to live three hits from Emolka, but we'll see. I definitely need to save here. Alyssa is a very tough fight. If, if you're unlucky, you can get you can end up in a very nasty situation. I need to use Hone Claws twice, and Moga will be using Pursuit or Quick Attack. 21 damage. I should be able to take another hit. 28 damage. One more. Okay. Oh, crit! That's very nice, and no static either. 2 and a 6. That means I get to skip one static. I'm gonna use Dig to finish this. Win a seven. Okay, I'm definitely lucky on this one. It's gonna use quick quick attack to finish me, so I'm going to use my chance to heal up to full. I think, and that's it. Went very smoothly because of slash crit, which is one in an eight chance. There's my fourth patch. Now for the Team Plasma fight, now the fights here, the two consecutive fights here are very, very uh, RNG based. <laughs> if you're unlucky, you can get, you can end up in a very bad spot, but we'll see. First of all, this fight, the, um, I, I can't remember, for some reason, I can't remember the Pokemon's name. Uh, Watchog. There we go. I can remember only its Korean name. Watchog has no offensive skill that can kill you, but has three very annoying moves. Super Fang, Confuse Ray, and Hypnosis. And it will, it, so it will reduce your HP with Super Fang, and when you hurt yourself and hit yourself in confusion, you die. <laughs> and hopefully we don't see that combo. Hopefully... 
I am faster than Watch Up, which is really nice. Doesn't happen that often. And it's only because it's a, I'm a hasty nature, so speed, high speed, so I can outspeed Watch Up and do one dig, and we'll see how it goes from there. Super Fang is nice, which means I can finish it. If it was Confuse Ray, it's very annoying. Can't miss Clay's gym. Everyone loves Drift Veil City. And here's where I receive full heal. And there's gonna be another really, really bad battle with Moro. Um, with Charles, the triple battle. Now the reason why um, White 2 is the preferred um, version as compared to uh, Black 2 is because of this battle right here. Triple battles are so much easier to deal with compared to rotational battles. In Black 2 here, it is rotational battles and it takes much longer. Because you think you use the right ability and, and they rotate out. So it's very, very annoying. Also, there are more reasons than just the triple to rotational. There are other places where the terrain is different and you have to fight more um, trainers because of it. But I will mention that when we get there. It's three patches of grass! It's three patches! Just let me go for free! This game, this game. I'm going to save here because I don't want to be crit by Aqua Jet. <laughs> There's the luck. Hey, but I was lucky with static. If it's 2 in a 7 chance, that's 28%, whereas static is 30%, so you can say that's lucky. Special defense, so I don't die from Sigilla. And both Zubat and Azuril should go down here. There we go. Rock Slide don't miss. Okay, very nice. And now there's a chance that Tortuga could go use Wide Guard. So I'm gonna use Slash. Like here, I knew it was gonna use Wide Guard. Now because I'm a defense minus nature, I could die from an Aqua Jet. But let's hope I don't. Please, save me. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna be crossing the bridge now. Hope for no bird poop. Yes, the pitops that fly here could actually poop on you. And if you're unlucky, it just falls straight on your head. No poop. And everyone's favorite jam. <laughs> everyone's favorite city jam.
And I had to ruin it with the bike theme. heal all my Pokemon because I'm gonna need all my Pokemon here for this gym. And I need also need Tepic because it's a Zeril and can't learn um, strength unlike Psyduck does. Now because I'm female Drillbur, I'm going to save here because I'm a female Drillbur. Um, in case anyone wondered why I named my Drillbur male when it's female, it's because it's right here. This Swoobat here can use Attract on you. And if I name it male, it's unlikely to be... Um, it's not, but it's unlikely in my heart that he will not be infatuated. <laughs> Hopefully no infatuation. Hopefully. If it's a if it's a male, it, it doesn't get um, attracted here. If it's a female, it doesn't get attracted in um, Skyless Gym. Um, I'm gonna use Rock Slide here, and then dig. Usually this should finish off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I could be attracted. Hopefully not. Air cutter, which is nice. And then slash to finish. No attract. That's good. Dyla will almost always use attract if he, if she can. Rude will is a little bit less likely to use attract. So female is preferred. Black to white 2 is such a good game. Yes, that is true. Alright. Not gonna learn horn drill. Now Rude tries to give me um, Rescue Zora to me, that N abandoned, but I'm not gonna take it. Now time to go to my Move Tutor and learn Iron Head. Even though I talked to him, he's gonna get that exclamation mark, but I don't want him to walk up to me, so I'm gonna I'm still gonna have to talk to him. Should be hundred percent to kill with Iron Head.
All Pokemon should be one shot with Iron Head. Excadrill is such a strong Pokemon. And he's right up here. I'm gonna be saving. A uh, bulldoze crit from Sand Slash could be lethal. Otherwise, I should be fine. Now, this one, the. <laughs> The Procroc has Intimidate, so I'm gonna switch out to a Surfer. Azuril's gonna take the hit for me. There we go. Oh, crit! Well, that's good. And he's big. Should be one shot. Sand, um, sand slash should not get one shot. It should live. It's gonna use bulldoze. I'm gonna get to very low HP. Okay, and then it's gonna try and finish me off. I'm gonna swap to Zubat. I should get a chance to heal. Unless it uses Crush Claw because I'm at low HP. Okay, there we go. It's okay because I'm gonna use um, Pig Knight. And get a chance to heal. The only issue here is I might not be able to finish off Sand Slash. I hope not. I hope it dies from the, the dig right here. Good. And I should be faster than Excadrill thanks to my hasty nature. There we go. And now we're going off to Drop Bell Tournament.
The sad part about Drip Bell Tournament is that there's no EXP that you gain, but you have to win. <laughs> you have to win, you fight about 9 Pokemon, and there's no EXP. Alright, the rival battle. Um, first Pokemon, because of because my attack is decent, it should be it should be a one shot one kill. But the other two Pokemon should be on a range. Duot should be one hit KO. Crit was unnecessary. And this is a range, but very likely. I think it's like 94% range. This is also range, but very likely. Okay. And now the Pokemon abilities are also random here. So the next Charon fight could have the Stoutland as Intimidate. <laughs> or Sand Rush. I'm hoping for Sand Rush. Let's hope no Intimidate comes out. No intimidate. Please, be a good doggy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the rest is a cakewalk. And now we have to pray again, because the next fight has Magneton, and Magneton has a chance to be sturdy. It could be Magnapo, but it also has a chance to be sturdy. We're gonna have to pray that it's gonna be Magnapo. I mean, who uses sturdy, uh, sturdy Magneton, right? Like, you gotta use Magnet Pull so you don't worry about me switching out, you know? Hey now, I might switch Chorus. <laughs> Better bring that Magnet Pull Magneton. Alright, we'll see. Very nice, very nice, very nice. He's a smart man, guys. He was trying to cover for me switching.
with this one BP, I'm gonna I'm gonna play safe and buy a protein. Time to go on the plasma ship now. I will get critical hit. Not something new. At least it, it's on a very ineffective move. The reason why I had to use Iron Head there instead of Dig is Coughing has Levitate. It Coughing used to only have Levitate until Gen 8 when it got neutralizing gas. So there's no way I can hit it with ground type moves because I'm also not a hidden ability dual driller with mold breaker. Um, I'm gonna use protein here and then change to EXP share. Use my super repel here. And because this is a double battle, with the EXP share, I can leech off the EXP that Cheren is get, um, should be getting. So I get more EXP this way. And this will allow me to hit uh, level 35 when I meet Cheren the second time. And beat the scientist right after. Now I'm gonna rid get rid of Grimer while Stoutland uses Thunder Fang on Golbat. Hopefully use this Thunder Fang, and not something stupid. There we go. Now I get to finish the life part that's on the field, and that's it. Now I have to go here, um, help out Q. The rival. Same thing here, take off Rhymer first, and then hope your partner does something decent. And finish the coughing with a razor shell. Hopefully it doesn't miss. Razor shell has a 25% chance of missing. Or water pulse. Or it can or or water pulse and then confuse and hit yourself. Okay. That works. And then gonna get rid of watch up first. Oops. 
Revenge is very nice. I'm almost close to 35. I'll be hitting 35 when I beat the Deerling after I get Sir from Charon. Alright, now the Shadow Tribe is going to kick me out. Alright, take care, Iron. Now we're going to Route 6. There's a bit of a spinners there, but with the bike, it should be a little bit easier to dodge them. Go behind. Punish your pal. Thank you. I'm gonna need some luck with the crits. <laughs> and then Churn gives the surf here. I should one-shot it with Iron Head. And I should get to 35. I'm still holding on to EXP share. I should be changing to another item in a bit. Not now at the moment. I should have gotten one step closer. It's okay. The optional only has two Pokemon. So it's not too much of a deal. I'm gonna use Home Claw so I don't miss. And then Rock Slide. Alright, now get the protein here that everyone knows about. Alright, this is Spinner with Emoga. And Passer. I have to be careful here so I don't get caught out by this trainer here. the spinner right here.
Now Skyla comes. Now we have to get to Celestial Tower. We don't have to, but we're going to Celestial Tower so we can get the Lucky Egg. I can run behind this trainer. Get the elixir here. Now get the lucky egg here. Lucky Egg, which is gonna give us a lot of EXP. Lucky Egg has, um, gives plenty EXP so that I will be able to out-level almost every Pokemon afterwards. Teach Strength and make sure I don't override Tail Whip. Tail Whip is gonna be very important later on if I have bad luck. And Teach Fly to Zubat. Now, if I don't make any mistakes <laughs> on turning, I can get very far on the first run. But it's, uh, it's not easy. I, I can't make a single tile mistake on the first time. No bumping. Right? There we go. <laughs> that was close, because I have to have repel menu. Up here. And stop here. And then stop here. That's this is my last stop. Easy, right? Alright, time to save and then on with Skyla. Now, because I'm female, Skylar Subat wouldn't be using Attract because it fails. And it is unaware, so even if I get to plus 6, there's no damage difference. But I will use my X speed that I saved up until this point. So I can outspeed Swanna that comes in later. I'm going to Iron Hand and then heal up. Heal up right here, so I don't have to worry about um, healing up on Skarmory. Of course. I knocked her into healing range! Of course! There we go. And 
Swanna comes out, but my accuracy has been boosted, so my Rock Slide should not miss. There we go. And time to learn Earthquake. And this one has 30, so I can't spam Rock Slide. I will be using two Iron Heads. And then a Rock Slide. That's the sixth gym. And then I'm gonna heal to full before I forget. Because I always forget. Time to go take a flight. And this is, and the road to Reverse Mountain is the only place that I suck at dodging trainers. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we'll see. It's it's that one road that I really suck at dodging the trainer. I I do fine when I get to Reverse Mountain. It's just the road right before Reverse Mountain. It's, there's a specific timing. We'll see. I made it! <laughs> first time, first time. I always practice on the on on that specific segment, but it works fine when I practice and I also always mess it up somehow in the real deal. But thankfully, I didn't mess up this time. Oh, took a wrong turn. Oh, I should have stopped. I should have stopped. I got too excited. Hello. Not a big deal. don't run on an emulator so I can't tell. Hopefully this doesn't waste too much time, but I think this may have not mean to save zone for the rival battle. Mm-hmm. If I go down the middle, I don't get caught out. 
there's the double battle now. I should have been healed to full by Bianca. It's uh, it'll be good if uh, Viraba doesn't target me with Earth, um, Earth power, but we'll see. Turn one is always home claws, so I get that damage output. I get a special defense drop also. Of course. Uh, Iron Head to finish off. Hopefully Grump Pick doesn't target me. Rest. Okay, that's fine also. Interrupt. Earthquake should finish them off both. And this one isn't a trainer, so I can just pass her. I should have been healed to full again. Alright, I should be fine with the rival, with the extra level and also the my stats, because it's a I I outspeed um Unfiza. But I'm gonna save just in case I get critted by um I get critted by I Samurai. There we go. I get critted by Samurai. Hopefully not. I'm gonna home claws. Hopefully no taunt on the first turn. Detect is good. So that means I get to home claws twice. Taunt is fine. Then rock slide. Now if I do a rock slide crit on Samurott, it could I could end up in a really bad place because it will be it will be at a um A lot of damage. I should have used X to defend. Uh, I knew I was gonna get crit. I knew it! I knew I was gonna get crit. It was a good call. It was a good call. I knew I was gonna get crit. I knew I just knew it somehow. I, I saw this coming. Marathon Lock. Exactly. I knew it! I just knew it! Mm -hmm. One pause again. Pause, that's fine. X defend right here. Plus one is also fine. I should be okay with plus one. I'm sl still slightly worried about the um, being minus defense nature, but I should be fine. Earthquake should finish this off. There we go. And I should be decently okay against Simisage. Seed Bomb shouldn't finish me off here. 
There we go. Hello. How's it going? I'm going to heal before we go, so I don't die from Ice Beam. Pokemon White 2 speedrun. Congrats, how was it? Alright, time to fight the Team Plasma here. I don't have Home Claws at the moment. Usually I should have Home Claws at this point, but I bought an optional that pushed me over to Sword Dance. So let's hope I don't miss my Rock Slide. If I don't miss my Rock Slide, I should be fine. Diagonal has um, Levitate, so I can't use Earthquake, and obviously Golbat is blind. There we go. And the next I can just take care of with Earthquake. I had a shiny cast form during one of my runs at an event. It was a Korean event and I was doing Pokemon Omega Ruby speedrun and I got a shiny cast form. Not here. There we go, rare candy.
get the purpose here. Talk to Iris. And we're gonna head straight towards the department store. Yeah, but honestly speaking, your chances are lower with in Black 2 compared to um I think no, if you have did you have um shiny charm? If you had shiny charm, you might have had a better chance at it. How many badges we got? 6. This is the 7th. Shot by Iron Head. I mean, two shot. Sorry. <laughs> Unless very low H um, attack. It, Shiny Charm was first introduced in Black 2, White 2, I think. A lot of things changed in Black 2, White 2. Now time to use Sword Stance. And they're quick away.
Time for the triple battle. I'm gonna adjust so that Excadrill is the center of the party. Yes, it is Dragon Gym. Now use X attack on Excadrill, Swords Dance, and then whatever move, doesn't matter. Zubat Dang is fine. Azuril well, Dang is also fine. And now Earthquake to finish all four Pokemon. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, we're gonna skip X speed because we're plus speed nature. Oh, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub, King Mamu. Alright, we're gonna skip X speed because we have very high speed thanks to hasty nature. But we're gonna use. Or I can just get crit. <laughs> I have to run back now. It's okay. I have fly, so it should be fine. <laughs> I really didn't imagine getting crypt with revenge. That's very unlikely, by the way. First of all, um, Drodigon uses random skill, random move, so it's not all. It's quite unlikely to see. Um, Revenge in the first place. It's quite unlikely to see revenge in the first place. And then second of all, um, it's it's another thing to get credit. I think both combined is like one in a sixty-four chance. Like you usually get cr um, crunch or slash. But yeah, I've been getting pretty bad luck today. That's kind of sad. I'm not... I actually cleared the fights that I thought I would clear. Like Alessa or Clay. Like, I thought I would run into problem more there rather than here. But I'm getting into troubles at places where I didn't anticipate. Which is kind of sad. Alright, round two. Not gonna use X speed again, obviously, because I don't need to. I will be using Source Dance twice. I should have used Iron Head. But it's fine.
This should finish off. There we go. And because I have um, speed increasing nature, hasty nature, I can skip X speed for the most part, which is very nice for the rest of the game. And now we're gonna be going into a cutscene that's about a minute long. So if you want to... And this is a pretty good bathroom break right here. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Drayden's house. Are you guys ready to see Kyurem spit on Opelus Aceite? <laughs> Typical Pokemon pose. Pose 7 gen plot twist. It's the legendary Pokémon spitting on you! Rats. All right, now time to give them chase. Talk to this one right here. Sucks. Alright, let's hope no rock slide miss on this goal back.
Very nice. This one's real quick. Levitate, so I have to use Iron Head. Alright, I'm gonna be healing now. Because the Weavile outspeeds me. Weavile is a range for one shot. Should be one shot in general. Very good. Now Drayden's gonna be an idiot. And finally bring out the DNA splicers and only to get stolen. Man, you should have just kept it in the gym. Raiden, why? Alright, it's gonna be Earthquake Fest right here. I'm just gonna Earthquake everything. Now I'm not gonna fight Charon here, even though the BGM sounds like you're about to. Instead, I'm gonna fly to Andela City to use the underwater tunnel.
Time to take off. And off to Humilo City. Humilo. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Too bad it's so short. Marine Tube's Marine Tube theme is really nice, but it's so short. I'm gonna bring out the gym leader who's been underwater, literally. And now back to the gym. Ah! I can't do the single step for some reason. Alright, I should outspeed this float zone, which is very nice. Usually I get outspeed by float cell, unless I'm very high speed. And this float cell's aqua tail super hurts. Will almost bring me to near death. But this time I should outspeed it. Just one shot it with earthquake. This mantine has no water moves. Like zero water moves. An easy kill. Need to go when she's not looking. I should also outspeed Starmie here, which is also very nice. Starmie has no water moves also, but has Confuse Ray, which is very annoying. I didn't think I took damage. I'm gonna use my max repel here. Save. Just in case I get Skull Crit plus Burn. And then go into battle. Very unlikely. But could happen. Best scenario is a flinch from Iron Head. Or Shell Smash. Optimal scenario. Shell Smash is nice. Because I still outspeed this Karakosta, even through Swift Shell Smash. And Wailord comes in. Hopefully, no Scout. Best is Amnesia. Just... Just perfect. This means Jellicent goes down in one shot also. I 
I don't want to run, learn, will run. That's a chance to miss. Easy win. I'm going to play really safe and then pick up this extra rare candy down here. I don't think I need to, but I'm just gonna play it safe because it's hasty nature and you never know what's coming with negative defense. But if it were, if I were running a regular run, I would never pick up this rare candy unless it's a really bad nature rover. To fly back to Humilo. Now if I get caught here, she moves up and opens up that space behind her so I can pass behind her which is usually blocked but the downside is I have to now hit this earthquake without- uh, hit the- hit one rock slide without missing which I hope I don't miss right here Very good. I have to use a revive, not revive, max eater. Gligar comes out. Gligar is a two-hit KO with Iron Head. Flinch or Screech, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. As long as it's not as long as I didn't take any damage. Which is nice. Alright, I'm gonna get a berry from her.
And I'm going to run away from this crystal. Don't need to fight. Just, just need to see the encounter. Because the machine has to be used. Time to board this ship for the second time. You have to board it for the for three times, guys. Cause you get kicked off twice. They kick you off because you haven't paid for the tickets, you know? They, they went down to block the hatch, so we're gonna go up here first. And now it's a double battle. Now even though we know the password already, which is Reshiram, we can't enter it yet because we have no card key. So we're gonna go get go get it after the battle. Now gotta rip get rid of gold back first. In Pokemon Black 2, you have to go through a series of teleporters to get past this area, which is not fun. It's much faster in White 2, so we, we're going to use that. Um, so that's why White 2 is preferred over Black 2 as well. Now, Earthquake to get rid of them both at the same time. And it's just gonna be one single Garbodor. See how OP Lucky Egg is, guys? You get super over level. Like, you're at least at bare minimum 10 levels past already. And this is, they're gonna ring the alarm here. And seeing right in front of you is another spinner that will turn randomly. So you just run past when he's not looking. And this one's the one with the card key. Ponyard, which is which means triple earthquake. Now she's going to be like, Okay, here's your car key. Fine, take it. 
while I wait until he turns away. Watch out for that roamer. And go back to the password zone. Longest password, which sucks. Usually you get a shorter password, which is about four digits. But bad luck, obviously. And now there's another double battle. Usually the rival does pretty well in taking out Lightheart and Watchog, but we'll see if the liber rival does his job, his end of the job. So far so good. Watchhog should die here if the rival takes the right move and doesn't miss the Aqua Tail. And now all it all it matters is Rock Slide no miss. Please don't miss. I'm surprised it didn't finish Weavile, but it should go down. There we go. What's actually interesting is this is the era where Steel types were still very OP. So Ghost attacks and Dark type attacks are all um, not as effective. There's only half the damage to Steel types. Now we get kicked off because we didn't pay for the tickets. And the ship sails off. Like it literally sails off. I don't know how if that's scientifically possible, but it does. Alright, now we just fly off back to Humilo.
Now I'm going to exit here for a save for escape rope. Now when I use escape rope inside, it will bring me to the save zone right there. And here I need to sacrifice all my Pokemon except for one, which is going to be my Surfer. Explosion is nice. It, it, it should kill off Fing Knight. Very nice. I don't need any extra Pokemon. And use this opportunity to heal up my Grover. Why oh, are you not killing it? Kill it! Kill it! What are you doing? There we go. That took a while. Alright, time to board the frigate for the third time. And going to a double battle immediately. Earthquake with X attack, so I eliminate all Pokemon for this double battle. And Scraggy, Scrafty is gonna come out. And Scrafty is very annoying for me, so I'm going to Iron Head Scrafty straight away. Should one shot. Now rock slide, please don't miss. Please do not miss. Thank you. And lastly, earthquake.
Oops. I didn't mean to hit on that. Max Elixir on the way. Easy, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm done. Oh my god, <sighs> I forgot to stick to the left. This is what happens when I get too focused on what to do next. It's okay, no big deal. I swear, I've always passed the spinner correctly the first time, and then I run into him the next one. On my way back. For Zinzolin, you just press A and then you win. Max Lexer, Hyper Potion, and then I'm going to, I don't ne usually need to revive, but I'm going to revive one just for safety on Kyurem. Best scenario is if I get a flinch on this sturdy Demeton. Sturdy? Flinch? No flinch. But no special de defense drop either, which is very nice. If you get a special defense drop like twice, very very annoying. I'm going to use my Sword Stance here, hopefully he uses Explosion. No Explosion. Flinch! No flinch, again. Don't kill me. Because of air balloon, I have to iron head. Flinch. Nice flinch. And then last Pokemon is gonna be Metan. And in 
comes Earthquake. Getsits is such a well-designed villain. So much better than the guy looking ahead for a thousand years, you know? Every battle is gonna be Earthquake, Iron Head, Earthquake. Except, and there's no. There's no situation where you get into trouble except for the. One guy. The last one. Who has Axel Gore. And Axel Gore uses me first to copy your Iron Head, because that's the only ability. And the problem with Iron Head is it could flinch you instead, which I hope does not happen. This is the one with the Excel board. Please don't glitch. Oh, Giga Drain is nice. Giga Drain is the best ability, best move that you can see out of this guy. He usually uses me first, so you kept on getting locked into glitches. It's on a bad luck. Now the reason why I revived Zubat is last time I made it up all the way here, PB, and I got, and my Iron Head was a range, 
on the fusion Kurum. And Kurum decided to use Fusion Flare and crit me. <laughs> so, I'm not taking any chances this time. If that happens, I'm going to use my revive. Are you guys ready for the cutscene that made you think Pokemon could be Digimon? I honestly thought this was too much like a Digimon cutscene. Digimon time, <laughs> right? I mean, isn't this the first time Pokemon fused with another? It's following Digimon series, you know? Digimon started with Digimon fusing with another Digimon, and then they went to Digimon fusing with humans, right? Pokemon's doing the same thing. Pokemon fusing with Pokemon, then Pokemon fusing with humans like in Sun and Moon. Let's go! I think you're gonna one-shot it with Iron Head. I believe in you. Ah. No paralysis, thank god. Alright. That was close. Thank god no fusion flame.
have to source dance twice. Good thing I'm immune to toxic. Heck. That's fine. Because of that protect, I might have to stop by at a Pokemon Center. I might. Hey now, rock slides don't miss. When has Rock Slide ever missed? I don't recall. There's an RNG trainer that you can get caught out if very unlucky. Let's hope I don't get caught out by, by that trainer because that fight is very horrendous. Right here. This trainer. Look down, please. Look to the left. Good. Probably one of the coolest batch checks in the entire series.
Rock slide, don't miss. Very nice. My, my left key got... I pressed it, but it didn't register. Sad face. Happens sometimes with, um... 3DS. I'm not sure if this, it's because my 3DS is older or not. But it's okay. I, I, I probably have to stop by at the center because I have to use an extra Earthquake at, on Jetsits. Because um, because he uses he used protect, so I have to use an extra earthquake. I might not have enough for uh, before Shantal. Uh, I need to pass this trainer twice. Talk to the trainer below. This place is... This one is really easy because you just have to go around once. Just make a big circle around and then you can make it past. I'm going to heal because I don't want to get... I have to go against a sturdy sock. I don't have to use X speed because of my nature. I should outspeed both Zebraika, uh, Zebstrika and um, Starmie. Starmie does have Surf, so I don't want it to use it. Thank you. 
Break break hurts. And then last one should be throw. Yeah, I'll definitely have to stop at the Pokemon Center because um, I need at least two Earthquakes before Chantal and I have to use one on Huey. So I'll definitely need to get my PP back and I only have one Elixir to spare. Sad. Hopefully no swagger, but oftentimes we'll use swagger on first turn. Which I need to use in TL4. And I need to heal because now I'm in Aqua Jet range. Bullet comes out. And then Samurai. The last should be Simasage. Because I need Earthquake, I will have to stop by at the Pokemon Center. I'm going to keep Zubat deposited. Alright, time to go. It's time to start with Chantal. Don't need a save for her. I'll probably need a save starting from um, the last Elite Four. Unlike the other Elite Fours, Black and White, Black to White to Elite Fours only have four Pokemon, which is very nice. You don't have to, you don't have to fight like a full party, like other generations. Usually they have five, but in this generation there's only four. No Will O Wisp, very nice. And then last one, I have to risk Rock Slide. 90% chance.
Elite Four music is really nice. Alright, off to Grimsley. This area looks so much like a Giratina. I don't need Elixir at this point, so I'm just gonna heal. Even though it's only a small portion. Rukodal is gonna come out for an intimidate, but it's fine. I don't I only need plus one. <laughs> music makes you lose control. This music is so nice. I honestly like Iris's um theme as well. But this music is really nice. I like this actually better than Iris' theme. Lucky Egg is OP. Usually, um, usually, usually, Musharna uses, um, Yawn on first turn and expects you to switch and use Yawn again. So I'm going to exploit that, but we'll see if she uses Reflect, because that's very annoying if she does. So Yawn, Yawn, okay, now she's going to use Dream Eater, and I'm going to use Full Restore. Counter that. Ah, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Black is not good. I should be okay. Um, because I used double source stance. I have to use her quick here. Then I have to use Earthquake again. That's too dangerous. I'm going to save here because there's a small chance that I will get wrecked from missing rock slide. Usually doesn't happen, but it could happen. If I miss rock slide and then I get um, brick break crit, I could die. So I'm not gonna risk that. 
On first turn, when I try to set up, Fro will attempt to use Bulldoze to reduce my speed, so I have to use Guard Special first. Now this Mian Xiao is a very fast Pokemon, but this one is relaxed nature. So I should outspeed it, fine. Earthquake for Compelder. Now hopefully no Rock Slide miss. And I live Brick Break! Wow. What a surprise. You usually die from that. I think it's because Dro used um, Rock Tomb instead of Bulldoze at one point. That's the only reason why I lived. Alright, time to heal to full. Two Hyper Potions. And then an Elixir. And I'll just use my red candy here. Because why not? Alright, let's go. It's fine if you die there, because if you have, um... If you have... Even if you die there, you if you have a Zuril, you can just use Max Revive and then sacrifice the zero in the process. But if you miss Rock Slide, then there's a bit of a problem. All right guys, ready for the last trainer champion? Actually, I don't think I need to save. Because even if I get bad RNG, I can make it around. But we'll see. Best music incoming! That's a little bit controversial, but okay. Alright, let's go. There's gonna be a Sir. I'm going to eat it and then use Sword Stance. It's Levitate, so I have to use Iron Head. And then Druddy Gun's gonna come out. Take it out with Earthquake. Agron is going to come out. This Agron is not sturdy. But I will be using the X Defend at this time. X Defend. And then heal up to full. Time to take it out now. And now. Either I have to hope for a flinch, because this is a focus dash. Either flinch or dragon dance. Dragon dance is fine. It's dead on the next turn. Because she will heal. And then it dies to Iron, Iron Head. Now there's no there's no more uh, no more RNG. You can Iron Head everything else.
Even if you die from Hexorus, I can... There's not... It's not much big of a deal. GG. And then it'll be... Once I get into Hall of Fame, it should be over. I think it might be slightly over 3 hours and 50 minutes. I had really series of bad crits. I think at twice that I had to reset because of bad crits. I got I know I got uh crit on Drayden, which I had to reset for. And then I crit a, a drill bird that I was supposed to catch. It's it's the black screen right after uh Hall of Fame. Um I'll let you know. Oh okay, I see. It's, I'm going to be registering in the Hall of Fame just in a short moment. I hit like three optionals, I think, but otherwise it was okay. And the optionals I hit weren't that big of a problem. Thank God. <laughs> It's the black screen right after this, which is going to be... So, time. Slightly yeah, over 3 hours and 50 minutes, but nevertheless... I thought it would be much longer, so... <laughs> well done, that I... was a fair bit underestimate, that. Hmm? Well done, that was a fair bit underestimate. <laughs> I thought uh, the tr battles that I thought I would have trouble against, I made it out fine. And the battles I thought I would be fine, I got crit, so... <laughs> fair enough. Uh, is there any last things you want to say? Um... I'm actually very happy to be a part of this. So this is my first time participating in an English event. Uh, if you want to see more Manipless, I know a lot of people do Manip runs, but if you want to see more Manipless, come to my channel. I usually talk in Korean, but if you talk to me in English on chat, I will respond in English. And I really thank you guys for all for being here to the end. And I wish the uh, next runner good luck. <laughs> as much luck as I have suffered. 